What up guys in today's video we are going to be talking about the tropics as we have now another aoi in the gulf of mexico about to be in the gulf of mexico and it's tracking towards florida and potentially some of us have it right in the east coast so i mean we're gonna we're gonna check that and we'll see what's gonna happen to the system this is the system right here yeah guys let's get right into the video if you guys do enjoy today's video please turn the post notification bell and like the video and subscribe so you do get notified when I do go live or make a video. And please share channel channel with your friends and family so we get to watch people let them know what weather's coming their way. And yeah, so this right here is the two day chances for tropical systems in the uh, Atlantic right now. And as you can see right here, this is the one that's about to head right into the Gulf right there. Then now right here, this is the remnants of Emily. It's another AOI right here. Then we got Franklin right here going to become a hurricane soon, but it's going to be out to sea. So we'll look at that briefly. But yeah. All right, guys, let's take a look at satellite again. All right, guys. So basically, I mean, right now this thing is pretty organized, I would say. I mean, you guys can see for yourself. It's definitely uh, definitely pretty organized right now. It's definitely uh, going to probably have a chance of form forming within, I would say, next couple of days, actually. Especially if it gets into the Gulf, we're going to show you the sea surface temperatures, the basically how hot the waters are. In the Gulf of Mexico, that's the reason why uh, us weather enthusiasts say, and meteorologists, we say that anything that goes into the Gulf may have a chance to become a hurricane if it does not get sheared out. So yeah, guys, let's first take a look at the GFS model run for this system. All right, guys, this is a GFS model run for this for the tropics right now. This is this is where the AOI is right here. Right here, it's actually called Invest 93L. So there it is, right there. You can it doesn't have a low pressure yet, like a you know low levels low level center but you know within the next couple of days as you can see there's also there's franklin out there starting to become a hurricane that's just going to be out to sea and yet there's the aoi right there there's invest 93l and within the next you know within the next couple of days definitely the next three days gets down to a 1003 millibars so i mean this thing's definitely definitely going to become something to watch you know as it enters the gulf it just blows up and then it hits parts of florida and then yeah it just goes up through the states right now it has a 984 millibar so yeah this thing could become maybe cat one hurricane but maybe either high-end tropical storm or low-end cat one that's what we're thinking right now but mo models are starting to uptrend just a little bit on it so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that all right guys let's go look at the euro model all right guys here is the euro model for this system and I, as you can see this this is the a aoi right here 93 L is like right there. You can't really see it that well, but it's right there. And as you can see, you know, in a couple of days, in two days, it still gets pretty organized. And then, like I said, there's Franklin out here coming a, a hurricane. But yeah, and then we got the next three days start to become pretty organized. This time it has a 1,005 millibar instead of 1,003. And, you know, it starts going into the Gulf and then just... This one has to become a 993, so that's probably like a tropical storm, maybe close to a hurricane, and it hits Florida again. And this model actually has it just right in the East Coast. So the Carolinas and Georgia and Florida, definitely y'all got to watch out because this is still like a week out, so it's still very uncertain on what this system's going to do. And then it just, you know, goes out to sea. But yeah, so that's basically what's going to happen with that system, as you, as you can see right here. Yeah, right now, right now it's, it's kind of just like stalled over the Yucatan Peninsula. But yeah, so uh, let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures. All right, guys. So this is what I mean by the Gulf bars are like hot. Like you could just look at this mainly like dark red and then pink all in the Gulf. I mean, just look at that. That is insane. Like anything that gets in there that has a chance of not getting sheared out is definitely going to form or definitely gain strength. Yeah, especially Franklin over here has definitely has some pretty warm waters also definitely uh favorable for it strengthening and we also have another aoi off the coast of africa we're gonna go look at that real quick all right guys so this is a seven day outlook for the national hurricane center so yeah definitely remnants of it of emily not really gonna form it can't form we got invest 92 l right here has a medium chance of forming and now we got another tropical wave coming off the coast of africa we're gonna have to monitor that in the in the next coming days and right here Invest 93 l the one that we were talking about mainly in this uh video is right here has an 80 percent chance of formation within the next seven days but i think it could get upgraded to 90 by the next update but yeah guys let's go take a look at like you know like the moisture of this system all right guys so as you can see definitely near the yucatan 
definitely a lot of moisture there. So that's definitely the AOI right there, Invest 930. That's it right there. Definitely got a lot of moisture with it. So definitely, and once again, here is Franklin out there in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, you can already see the Invest 930 is already gaining a lot of moisture with it within the next couple of days, possibly. And, you know, dry air tries to wrap around it, but I think it's got to too much moisture to where it may just like, like burst through it. So, but, I mean, anything can happen. But, I mean, as you can see, as it enters the Gulf, it's got a lot of moisture, especially on the eastern side of it, as you can see right here. Anything in that blue, that's like a lot of moisture with it. So, definitely something to watch. We'll definitely uh, have more videos and maybe a, like a live briefing on the tropics later this uh upcoming week but yeah definitely as it gets to uh you know florida it makes landfall it definitely still has a lot of moisture with it but you know you know when her when hurricanes hit land it automatically you know just loses its strength and just weakens rapidly so yeah that's definitely uh something to note like right now if florida you would probably get the worst part of it but if you're like south carolina and north carolina if this model is right we'll probably get like tropical depression winds maybe if anything but yeah so if you're more inland you don't gotta worry as much but you still gotta worry for rainfall which we're gonna look at that real quick all right guys so this is the precipitation for these systems in the atlantic right now so as you can see already franklin's already dropping a lot of rain even though it's just gonna be out at sea if this was impacting land it would be dropping a lot of rain but we're mainly here for invest 93l because that's gonna hit the u.s so we're gonna take a look at that and like as you can see they're just drops a lot of rain definitely up to so that's up to like you know right now it would be at that's like one inch of rain and then jumps all the way up to about like five or six so already about four inches of rainfall this is what the model is already showing but then you gotta think about it the storm surge so if you're like near the coast like the coast coast you gotta watch out for storm surge because it could be a couple feet and that's definitely gonna you know make the waves crash uh onto land and you know cause flooding problems flooding problems yeah just spreads a lot of rain across the east coast but yeah that's something to definitely watch all right guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you that if you guys did enjoy today's video please like and subscribe turn the post turn the post notification bell on so you do get notified when i do go live or make a video and please share your channel with your friends and family so we can get the right to people let them know what weather's coming coming their way and yeah i'll see y'all in the next one peace